Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss another way to authenticate to our Azure subscription from the Terraform configuration. And this time we are going to use the Azure Managed Service Identity. Managed Service Identity is the way which will help you to connect to, to which will help you to authenticate to your Azure subscription without having a need of service specifying the username or the password. If you remember previously when we were connecting it with the help of service principle, we were providing the client ID and secret which is a sensitive value to authenticate to the Azure subscription from the Terraform. If you have a requirement wherein you don't want to specify the username and the password as in the secret to your Terraform configuration, then manage identity could be one of the option which you may want to use in your configuration. So let's take an example wherein you have the Terraform code which you would like to run from your build agent, let's say Azure DevOps agent. And those DevOps agents are nothing, just a virtual machine created in your Azure subscription and that Azure virtual machine have from that virtual machine you can provision the resources into any azure subscription within that azure tenant as long as the virtual machine has the managed service identity enabled and that managed identity has the contributor access to the azure subscription if this sounds very theoretical to you let me go back to the demonstration and I'll explain you what do I mean by that. For the demonstration, I have created a virtual machine which is of Windows Server 2019 configuration type. And in this particular virtual machine, at the moment I have enabled the managed service identity. As you can see, this is my managed service identity ID. Now I have already logged into this virtual machine, which is this one. Currently it has a private public IP address. Consider that this is the build agent which is configured or which is which we have configured to run our Terraform code and we don't want to specify any username and password to authenticate from our Terraform code to our Azure environment via the Azure provider. So for the demonstration I have already downloaded the code here in this C drive windows directory as you can see i'll just clean up this I've, for the demonstration i have already downloaded the code which we were using in our previous demonstration here to this particular machine so that we can show that when we are going to run a terraform code on a from a machine which has the manage identity how do we use the manage service identity authentication to connect to our Azure resources. Just for the information, I have already downloaded the Terraform code here in this particular machine. So if I run the Terraform version command, that will give me the latest available version, which I am using currently in this particular code. Now, if I go back to this directory at the moment, and run Terraform initialization to make sure that I am able to initialize the command. I am able to initialize the Terraform directory so that it downloads the required providers such as provider Azure RM version 3.0.0. Now, before I run any other command after the initialization, I would like to see the provider block. At the moment, in the provider block, I do not have anything specified here. So there is no client ID or the client secret or service principle authentication configuration is specified. Also, if I run the AZ account show just to make sure I have not logged into this machine from my Azure credential, as you can see that even there is no Azure CLI installs, which means that I cannot even log into the account using the Azure CLI or anything else, right? Now, if I run the Terraform initialization command, then I would get the or Terraform plan command, then I would get the same error that I'm not able to log in 
to this particular machine which says that is it is not executable command because it hasn't found in fact it has not found the azure cli install on this machine so that's why it is failing now the question is i don't have any cli i don't i'm not logging into this system so how should i connect or uh, how my terraform code should connect from there here to my azure environment and provision the resources to do that what i can do is i can specify some of the details such as i can specify the use manage identity equals true i'll just make it bigger use manage identity equal to true then the tenant id on which my code wants to connect and then the name or the id of the subscription on which i would like to connect to by the way all these values can be configured as in variable values or i can set these values as in variable or the environment variable if i need to so i'll just save this now if i run again the terraform plan let's see if it works or i'll get any other error this time i got a slightly different error which says that it's not able to connect to the azure subscription so it has got the subscription detail as you can see from the error but the machine id which is the machine managed service identity which it tries to connect to the subscription does not have the read or write permission so what does it means that the virtual machine which we have created does not have the access to the azure subscription so remember when we created the azure service principle that service principle we have given a uh, contributor access to our azure subscription similarly this managed identity needs to have access or contributor access to our azure subscription so i'll go to this azure subscription i'll click on access policy identity and access management add new role i'll select contributor as role click on next use the manage identity option because i would like to assign a manage identity to a contributor role from this subscription i'll select a virtual machine as the manage identity because this is the only resource on which i have set up a manage identity i'll select this is the virtual machine on which we was, would like to assign a contributor role i'll click review and assign that's it i'll go back to the virtual machine again I'll try to run the terraform plan command this time and see if it works. As you can see this time it is perfect working perfectly fine as it's successfully able to authenticate with the help of managed service identity of this particular virtual machine to our Azure subscription and this way we have proven the way of authenticating with the help of MSI in Azure. I hope you have found this useful.